In this network, we've been told that router one is not able to ping router four. So on router one, as we can see here, router one is not able to ping the loopback of router four. We've been told to use show commands and other commands to try and find out where the problem is, and then we need to fix the network and verify connectivity. We should do that without using show run. So as an example, show IP route on the router shows us that we've learnt about this network through EIGRP. We've learnt about this network through EIGRP, but we haven't learnt about network 10.1.3.0 or 4.4.4.4 or 3.3.3.3 through EIGRP. So as an example, if I use the command debug IP packet and then try and trace to the loopback of router 4, we told that the traffic is unroutable. Or if we try and ping 3.3.3.3, once again, the traffic is unroutable. The router doesn't know where to send the packets. And that's again, because it doesn't have the route in the IP routing table and no gateway of last resort is set. The router simply doesn't know where to forward packets to get to those destinations. So it just drops them and doesn't send them out of any interface. Show IP EIGRP neighbors shows us that the router has a neighbor relationship to router two. So it's able to ping the loopback of router two. Can it ping 10121? Yes, it can. So it has IP connectivity to this network and can ping this IP address, but can it ping 10122? And the answer is no. So it looks like there's a problem between router two and router three in this topology. So let's have a look at router two. On router two, show IP EIGRP neighbor. We only have a neighbor relationship to router one. There's no neighbor relationship to router three. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. We can see that EIGRP is enabled on this interface as well as this interface and the loopback. So in other words, we haven't forgotten to enable EIGRP on this interface, but for some reason, it's not forming a neighbor relationship to router three. Show IP protocols shows us that EIGRP is enabled in autonomous system 100. It's routing for these networks, network 10 and network two. It has this gateway. Can we ping router three? Yes, we can. So there's IP connectivity to the neighbor, but we don't have a neighbor relationship formed to router three. Let's have a look at router three. So here's the console for router three. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. Now, can you see a problem immediately in this output? Notice there are no neighbor relationships formed. If I go back to router two and use the command show IP EIGRP neighbors, What's different in the output of these commands? Can you see the problem? Let's do another command, show IP protocols. Do the same here, show IP protocols. Can you see the problem between router two and router three? Notice the autonomous system number. On router two, the autonomous system number is 100. On router three, the autonomous system number is one. We see that in this command as well. And notice here, autonomous system 100, here it's autonomous system one. EIGRP requires that the autonomous system number be the same for these routers to exchange routes with one another. So we seem to have a problem with the AS number on router three. Router three is not forming neighbor relationships with any other routers. So on router four as an example, show IP protocols, we can see that this router is also configured for autonomous system 100. So these routers are using AS100, router four is using autonomous system 100, but router three is configured with the wrong autonomous system number. We can see that there again, show IP protocols shows us the same thing, show run section EIGRP, and packet trace unfortunately doesn't support that command. So I'll just run show run. We can see here that EIGRP is incorrectly configured. So no router EIGRP one. 
router EIGRP100, network 10, network 3. And we can already see that neighbor relationships are formed. I'm going to disable automatic summarization. So on router 3, show IP EIGRP neighbors. Notice neighbor relationships are formed to both router 2 and router 4. So back on router 2, show IP EIGRP neighbors. We've got two neighbor relationships. Back on router 1, show IP route. And notice we are learning the routes that were missing previously. We've learned about network 4. We've learned about network 10.1.3.0. So can we ping 10.1.3.2? Yes, we can. Can we ping the loopback of router 4? Try that again. Yes, we can. Can we trace to the loopback of router 4? Yes, we can. So I'm happy with that. We've solved the problem in this network. You can do some more verifications if you want to. So as an example, can router 4 ping router 1? Yes, it can. Can it ping router 2? Yes, it can. Can it ping router 3? Yes, it can. So we've solved the problems in this network. It was an AS misconfiguration on router 3. So here's the question. Were you able to complete the lab yourself? If you weren't able to complete the lab, that's fine. Use these videos to help you learn the show commands and various options available through the Cisco CLI that help you narrow down and troubleshoot network issues. It's important that you learn EIGRP for the CCNA exam.